Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the three-quarter view in drawing a character. Before we get there, though, I wanted to mention, again, kind of review what we talked about the front view and talk about the side view for a moment. Remember the front view, we said uh, we can take the oval of the, sh the face, the whole head rather, and if we draw a center line down the middle, if we cut that in half, we have about where the eyes are. If I draw the ovals of the eyes, I'm going to have about one eye width between the two eyes. And if I look at this point and draw an equilateral triangle, the nose is going to fit in there. This woman has a sort of a more narrow nose, so it doesn't go out to the edge. But the nose will typically fit inside there. And so this woman has a very simple nose that fits right there. If I go from the bottom of the nose to the bottom of the chin and cut that in half roughly, that will be about where the mouth is. And so we talked about all of those things. The ears, we go from the top of the eye down to the bottom of the nose typically. And so we'll call that typical. When we actually draw cartoon characters, we might want to vary from that to make the person look silly or funny or what have you. So let's go ahead and take a look at another example. You guys all recognize this guy, Homer Simpson. Same thing. Let's see what the artist did here. For this picture um, on the head of Homer, we know we have an oval for the face and about halfway through is the eyes. But notice the nose is pushed way up to the top and the mouth is pushed way down to the bottom. Also, when we look at the side view over here, we're not seeing a triangular shape, we're seeing a big oval. But again, the nose is pushed up. The same level in all three places is the mouth. And so he's got a big upper lip and no chin. And that makes Homer look kind of silly. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at this young lady. And we see three views here. We have the front view again. And so we can take a look at her head. And we can look at all three of these. Uh, we can take a look and say, in her head, if we draw the oval of the head, we can see that from the center line, cut that in half, there are her eyes, cut this in half, and there is her nose, cut that in half, and there's her mouth. So she follows those proportions very nicely. And if we draw an oval for the eye here, and oval for the eye here, there is about uh, one eye width between the two eyes. And again, the nose is going to fit into that equilateral triangle here. If we draw from the center of the eyes down, we have about the width of the mouth, and so forth. And so it's very easy to see that this woman is falling into proportions. Again, if we look at the side view, we don't see two eyes. We see one eye. We don't see an O. We see kind of a more triangular shape. We see a forehead and the bridge of the nose. And the nose sticks out. And we see, in this case, she's just smiling. But again, we see the ear is going from the top of the eye down to the bottom of the nose. And um, the side view is the easiest uh, view to draw. Okay, what we're going to talk about today is the three-quarter view, and this one is a little bit more tricky, so we're going to draw the oval of the, sh of the head. Now the center line is going to come straight down the middle like before in the front view. Instead, it's going to kind of come off to the side like that, but the eyes are still going to be right about the halfway point here. If we take half of that, we're going to get the bottom of the nose. If we take half of that, we're going to get where the mouth is. And so we still have the same proportions, but we're looking at it from the side. And so this eye might be partially hidden. The oval is going to be smaller than this one. The one closer to you is going to seem larger. Again, down here, the nose is going to come down. We see one nostril. We may or may not see the other nostril, depending on the person's nose. And the, the mouth is going to come over here. So we see less on one side of the line and more on the side closest to us. Okay, so now we're going to draw a character. I'm going to start with an oval like we did before. In a minute, I'm going to show you how to make a little shortcut using a circle. But let's go ahead and use this oval right now. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to draw my center line. But it's going to be off to the side because the face is going to be pointing a little bit off to the side in this three-quarter view. Let's go ahead and write that. This is our three-quarter view. And so if I cut that in half, that's going to be where I have my eyes. If I take that line and cut that in half, that'll be my nose cut that in half and that'll be my mouth. And so now let's go ahead and draw uh, an oval for this eye and an oval for this eye. I'm going to draw the bottom of the nose. I also need to have the bridge of the nose here and uh, maybe the other nostril. Uh, top of the lip is going to come over here. And so um, at that point I can draw the cheekbone, the chin, and the jawbone. And the eyebrows are coming up here. Okay, I'm going to take all of that and I'm going to make it uh, slightly lighter. Now I'm going to come back up in here and I can ink in with my Sharpie pen 
lines that are a little bit darker. Let's go ahead and make this guy a little bit more subtle too. So now I've got those, let's say, light lines with my pencils. And now I take my Sharpie and I can come in here and I'll make these a lot darker. So my eyebrows. And then uh, from here, I'm going to come down to the bridge of the nose. And over here, I'm going to have, I'm going to have maybe a smiling face. Uh, so now I have from my eye, I'm going to have this eye here. I'll have this eye is going to be a little bit bigger. Because remember, we're looking, this is pushing away from us. So the things that are on the other side of the face can be a bit smaller. So I have my cheekbone, I have my chin, and my jawline. My ears over here, again, from the top of the eye down to the bottom of the nose. And uh, just put a couple lines in there. And so now let's go ahead and have his hair coming back like that. And that is a simple example. Maybe teeth, maybe the inside of the mouth, lower lip, maybe some shading down there. And there's a three-quarter view cartoon character. Other things I can do if I wanted to, I could have a line coming down from the nose, down by the mouth and so forth. I could add some shading, but that's a simple example of a three-quarter view character, again, using uh, the center line coming a little bit off to the side. Okay, so now this is going to be a little bit different. This is going to be using a circle instead of an oval, and this is a little shortcut that artists use sometimes when they're drawing cartoon characters, uh, because now instead of drawing the uh, the center line down the side and drawing the eyes halfway through, I'm going to draw the eyes down here a little bit lower, down here, using my pencil, kind of sh uh, soft lines. I'm going to draw the nose down here, and now I'm going to draw uh, a kind of a semi-oval down at the bottom. And what this is going to do is going to give you the kind of guidelines to have where the uh, mouth and eyes are going to be. So let's go ahead and draw um, up here. We'll do some, uh, using my Sharpie, I'm going to have some eyebrows. I have the uh, nose coming down, uh, other nostril over here. The eyes are going to be... Well, this guy's looking a little bit angry. I kind of made his uh, eyebrows coming down. Uh, so let's give him an angry mouth. Let's say, uh, so he's going to be uh, maybe kind of that clenched jaw look again. Uh, his... Okay, so the eyes, again, the uh, ears from the top of the eye down to the bottom of the nose and we see over here we'll give him a different kind of a hair let's say we have a kind of floppy hair coming down like this um, okay so again we're using that same idea we do have that line coming down for our center line off to the side and this eye is going to be a little bit smaller than this eye uh, this side of the mouth on this side of the line is going to be smaller than over, over on this side uh, this side of the nose over here is going to be a little bit smaller than this side but again we have that three-quarter view and I can go ahead and draw my neck this is a little tiny neck uh, in the next video we're going to talk about uh, how to draw uh, the bodies for these different characters but this is the basic character um, and you can play around with different hairstyles you can do all kinds of different things um, let's do just a couple more quick examples and then I will give you the assignment today it's just going to be trying to draw different characters using this three-quarter view, and in the next video we're going to add bodies, arms, legs, hands, and so forth to our characters, so you'll have a completed character both in front view and in three-quarter view. Okay, so now I'm going to use the circle method to draw a character, and this character is going to be more cartoony, but uh, again, I'll think about where I want that center line to be. I want uh, the uh, eyes are going to be coming over here, because we're going to draw that uh, uh, bottom of the head down below this line but starting with a circle um, I'll go ahead and draw a couple of eyebrows over here I'll draw a small nose and then someplace where the mouth is going to be okay I'll go ahead and leave that there now I'm going to come in with my sharpie and I'm going to go and draw eyes that are uh, quite a bit bigger because a lot of times you see in uh, cartoons eyes can get really exaggerated so I'm going to draw bigger eyes over here I'm going to come in, draw a little tiny nose down here, and then the mouth come like that again. So there it is. Uh, I can have eyebrows up here. Remember, the eyebrow is going to kind of catch the bridge of the nose. Over on this side, it's going to come over here. And let's have, let's say, really spiky hair coming back this way. And 
top of the ear again is going to be with the top of the eyes come down like this and then you can erase the parts that maybe don't look the way you want maybe the jawline comes in here the neck kind of comes down and uh, we're going to talk about shading in the next video but here's an example of just going ahead and starting off with that basic uh, size that we had where the eyes nose mouth and ears go using the three quarter view with that new center line and so once you get it kind of mapped in then you can go ahead and spend a little bit more time getting the eyes just the way you want them maybe you want these guys to be a little bit more defined uh, the nose is really tiny but uh, maybe i want the lip coming down like this uh, some shading in here shading underneath here you can add shading where you want it we're going to talk a little bit more about shading next time maybe on the neck underneath the jaw and uh, this can get maybe a little bit bigger. We've got little highlights in the eyes. Let's see the eyelashes and so forth. And so now maybe over here I want uh, this, the inside of the ear. If you want to add some shading there you can. But this is a very simple drawing using the three quarter view with that center line coming down that part of the face. And that is our lesson for today. So you can go ahead and try uh, making some different characters, boys, girls, old, young, even animals, and have some fun with that. In the next video, we're going to talk about shading.